Hello and welcome to Do It. Today we are going to take these panels that I cut down from Menards and we're going to put in a little sweat equity, a little elbow grease to make these cheap materials something that a sports fan in your life would be happy to have. So we're really big fans of Make Something and David Picciuto and one of the things that he likes to do around this time of year is batching where he's just making a lot of gifts simultaneously to cut down on time, waste, and product materials. So that's what we're going to do today. So what I did was I traced out the design on my television, uh, believe it or not, and I just used a little bit of spray adhesive to attach it to the board for the cutting part of this process. Now if you're interested as to how I did that, I've got a video on how to make a sign without power tools and I cover that method fully in that. So once we've got the design attached to the board, we can just take it over to the bandsaw. Dust collection is very important, and that's why I choose to do mine with a 32 volt leaf blower. So, watching this video, you might think that I'm a Bears fan as well, and actually, I like these people in spite of the fact that they're Bears fans, so to remove any doubt, I wore my Packers jersey throughout this whole process. So after everything was cut out on the bandsaw, I took everything back inside and just traced around my draw lines with an X-Acto knife so I could remove the painter's tape and, tape, uh, and paper in the areas that I wanted to turn blue. Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Oh, well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off.
So the panel from Menards was about $25 and I got two signs out of the panel. And I think that's part of the reason this is such a satisfying project to me. It's because the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Really, it's not an expensive project, but just by adding a little time and a little elbow grease, um, you can end up with a pro product that you would enjoy hanging up in a garage or a man cave or something to that effect. So if you enjoyed this project, we encourage you to hit the like and subscribe button. That really helps us out. We have new videos coming out all the time for maker stuff, DIY, CNCing, 3D printing, laser cutting, you name it. We've got it all here. If you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified when we post. And as always, thanks for watching.